please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. General Milley, I've just got one more question for you about these many book interviews that you did. I Alone Can Fix It, it's one book, Perils, another book. Frankly, we did win this election, the in, inside story of how Trump lost is the third book. Seems like that's a significant outlay of time. I don't think so. I, I think that- They were the, short interviews? Relatively short. I don't think it took an excessive amount of time. What was the time frame on these on these interviews for these three different books? These, these are deep, by the way, you know, these are these are for folks who don't know at home. You said you didn't read the books. I don't think most people probably do. These are DC Insider tell-all type books. Uh, but when what was the time frame? Did you say that you were doing these interviews? I would say it took a couple of hours, maybe. But what, when? What's the time frame? When were you sitting for them? Dates. Um, I can get you the dates. I don't know. I, I, this I don't year? Know, off the top of my head, but I'll get you the dates. 2021? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it was this, this calendar year? I think so, yeah. Sure. Well, I, I just am wondering, is, is clearly this was a priority for you. You did these on the record, by the way? All these interviews are on the record with these reporters? They quote you? I do interviews on the record, off the record, and I do background interviews. And I do all of that with print media, television media, books, documentaries, all kinds of things. I thought, why would you do, why would you do background and off the record interviews? Background means you can't quote you. Background and off the record, you, off the record interviews if the goal is transparency. The transparency goes to the fact to make sure that we are explaining ourselves and make sure that uh, these authors have correct information. Uh, you know, not for, let's take Woodward, for example, probably 200 people. Uh, interviewed and they approach uh, my guys to say, are these facts true? This is what we heard. Uh -huh. So we clear, clarify and mitigate uh -huh. any incorrect information. Interesting. Well, I, I just seemed, it's interesting. I mean, you're, you're doing these interviews, you're, you're doing them in, in 2021. It just makes me wonder all of these different books, were you maybe a little distracted? Maybe a little distracted about what was going on in Afghanistan? Here's why I'm asking. General Miller testified to this committee that he wrote, warned about the rapid erosion of the military situation in Afghanistan as early as March of 2021. He further testified that he informed you about his view on this. He also testified that he said that the collapse of the Afghan security forces and the Afghan government could come very fast Hard in 2021. Fast. Hard and fast. As well. And he said that he informs you this. He also said that he informed Secretary Austin of this. He did. Now, at the same time, however, in June, you were saying, and I quote you now, an outright takeover by the Taliban is unlikely. That's at an Armed Services Committee meeting in the House, June 23rd. In July, you said the Afghan security forces have the capacity to sufficiently fight and defend their country. You also said that they were well equipped. On June 17th, you told the Senate Appropriations Committee the Afghan government had a 325 to 350,000 person security force, which we now know is a drastic overestimate. A few days later, you lowered that to 300,000 which we still know is a drastic overestimate. Your generals on the ground, your commander on the ground is saying one thing. The Taliban has a massive offensive underway from May 1st on, but yet you seem to, you told us very different things in public. How do you reconcile those things? What am I missing? Well, first of all, Scott Miller did say hard and fast, and he also meant that, at least to me and to others, that he meant that to be in the fall, October, November, maybe even December time for that. I heard you say that earlier. Yeah. I'm curious about that. I have yeah. to tell you, that wasn't his testimony of this committee. Well, what he said in the committee was hard and fast. He didn't put a date on it. Is, I, is the readouts to me? I don't know. Did he put a date on it? Um, no, so, he didn't put a date on but it. He did you put, put a, a date on it. That's what intrigues me. But he did put a date on it with me uh, ah. and, and to us. Uh, and when, when pressed, it was after we leave, that was point one, which was 31 August, uh, and probably into the October time frame, maybe Thanksgiving, and that is about more or less where many of the intel assessments were. He formed. said he was a dissenter on the intel he, he did. assessment. He, that's right. And he didn't put any of those quali qualifiers on his testimony to us. So are you saying he shifted his testimony, General Miller, that he, he wasn't? No, I'm saying what he told me was it, would, it was likely to be in the October time frame. The intel assessments are centering around November, Thanksgiving at the latest Christmas. Some intel assessments went into the next year. My, here's my point, Senator is the intel assessments uh, had two basic things, uh, in my view, uh, was the, the scale and scope plus the speed. Uh, all the intel assessments, all of us, got that wrong. There's no question about it. Uh, that was a swing and a miss on the intel assessment of 11 days in August. There's nobody that called that. 
Well, I can I just, General, my, my time is about, I, I appreciate yeah. that you've made these points. I don't mean to cut you off. It's just that my time is about to expire. I just want to, I just want to say this. It seems to me that you put a high priority on making sure that you were favorably portrayed by the DC right. press score. You spent a lot of time doing that. Fair enough if that's your priority. But at the same time, that's we had a rapidly saying. deteriorating, frankly, disastrous situation in Afghanistan, which resulted in the death of 13 soldiers, including one from my home state, hundreds of civilians, and hundreds of Americans left behind. And in my view, that mission can't be called a success in any way, shape, or form, logistical or otherwise. General, I think you should resign. Secretary Austin, I think you should resign. I think this mission was a catastrophe. I think there's no other way to say it, and there has to be accountability. I respectfully submit it should begin with you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Bye.